what's up gang i hope everybody is well happy tuesday <laughs> um once again i just want to give it up to everybody for participating in the raffle uh, congratulations again to lena for winning i am so excited for the future i got more coming i am going to do another raffle in about a week or two um i'll probably open it up in a week and then a week after that i'll actually do the drawing so i give you guys a week to you know participate so i'm so excited about that i'm going to continue to do giveaways that is why it's important to keep your notifications up because some of y'all said that y'all didn't even know that i was doing it so also it is crucial to come over to my website you know and sign up subscribe join the email list so you can get the notifications in your email i send out um all kind of promotions and you know discounts on readings all that type of stuff so head over to my website y'all i got a community tab over there we have a private group chat over there i'm getting my website popping up I'm, I'm blogging over there that's the that's the crib that's the crib so if you want to be a true gang member if you want to be a true magical flowers gang member go over to my website at www.magicalflowerstarot.com all things pertaining to my youtube comments y'all already know email me at magic flowers tarot at yahoo.com shout out to the gang shout out to the new members welcome to the gang get comfortable be very just know that i am always open to suggestions questions i read the comments i try to incorporate y'all by gang and tell you i really do use y'all questions for my reading so participation is crucial especially if you want the type of reading that you want on your favorite celebrity or I like to do, you know, true crime, political, you know, all that type of stuff, real raw shit, news, all of that. So, with that being said, y'all, let's jump into this reading. This reading is, now this is somebody that, um, this is a sad story, right? This is pertaining to Lacey Peterson and Scott Peterson. You guys, you know, asked me about this before, and um, y'all kind of want to know, and I guess he, Scott Peterson, has a court case coming up very soon so we're gonna pick up on the energy around that situation this shit has been going on for years and quick story time back in the day when i thought i wanted to be a nurse i started a cna course because you know anybody would tell you that's the first class that you have to take going into your when you are going to pursue nursing it's like the first six to nine weeks so i took a class and my instruction instructor the nurse who was, who was teaching us in the class actually was the same nurse and the same teacher that taught Stacy Peterson. I mean, sorry, Lacey Peterson. Lacey Peterson was literally in my class, the class that my teacher had right before my class. And like the desk and the seat that she sat at was literally right in front of mine. So that was surreal. That was chilling when the teacher told us. She was like, and she actually sat right there. And she was like, she remembered, you know, she was so tiny. She was such a petite girl. She would show up to class every day. She was so happy and nice. And one day she didn't come to class and y'all know what happens after that so that was just a little quick story time how kind of close this is to me um what happened to her where she lived was not even 20 30 minutes away from where i live so yeah so that was just a little quick backstory so we're going to tap into this energy just to see if we can get some spiritual answers you know i'm really not going to be calling her on her spirit y'all y'all already know um i got it that that's a lot of energy and it's very a very tragic situation and chaotic situation so we ain't you know trying to bring that energy down like that but i always tell y'all to protect yourselves if y'all got florida water put something on y'all heads protect y'all heads you you know put something some florida water if you just like i keep saying florida water because that's one of the main common things that people have put that on the back of your neck it's not to scare anyone but you we, we gotta be spiritually responsible so with that being said gang y'all already know how i do i'm gonna start this reading by tapping into the energy around this case by calling out their names scott peterson scott peterson scott peterson lacy peterson lacy peterson lacy peterson so the first question that you guys had was um What's, first of all, y'all want to know if he really did it. Did Scott Peterson have anything to do with the demise of Lacey Peterson and her child? Did he have anything to do with that? Is he keeping secrets? Peterson, Scott Peterson, Scott Peterson. Do you have anything to do 
with the demise of his wife, Lacey Peterson. Mm. Wow. Mm. Y'all see what this is. Wow. First and foremost, this is his energy. Very fiery, very charismatic, very charming. You know, he tries to be like the guy that people would think never did. That he tries to use his charm. He tries to use his wit as a cover-up for his true life. You see this, right? Ten of Swords. I told y'all, depending on the context of what I'm asking, Ten of Swords can very well mean murder. Look at all the swords down this woman's back. Of course, she died if that happened physically. Two of Swords talks about that sacrificial energy, throwing her in the water, blindfolding her, all those things, trying to get rid of her. The moon represents secrets, deep secrets. Not only deep, terrible, dark, nasty-ass secrets that can cause harm, but it also represents the mother. The moon is the mother energy. He was her wife. He was the mother of her child. And it's just reversed. Y'all see that water right there. This talks about... Um, like I said, that feminine energy, that motherly energy is upside down. So she was hurt. And this more importantly talks about the secrets that he is keeping. Y'all already know, I tell y'all, the emperor is the father of the tarot or the husband of the tarot. This is him. And he is all up and through this. And he's been holding on to this for a long time. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. I wonder if he had insurance on her because I don't know why that just came up to me. That just came in my head. So, yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. That's what's in his cards. I'm going to call it how it is. Y'all already know how I am. With integrity, though. What was the energy around Scott Peterson's... Um, what was the energy around him during the time that they were on a search for Lacey Peterson? What was his energy at that time? Like you guys said, he was very calm, cool, you know, didn't seem too sad, upset, shaken up. What was his energy? What was his true energy around the search for his wife, Lacey Peterson? Look at that money again. Strength. Reverse. The tower. Mm. I hope these cards are in focus for y'all. Mm, y'all see that? See how she, that, that water, that water, he wasn't trying because he knew what he had done. The tower reverse. Look at that. Look at these women. He knew what he had done. He wasn't too, you know, he, that's why he was so calm. You know, that passion, that fiery energy that the Leo, the lion usually has, it was kind of put out. He was kind of calm. He was very calm. The devil, y'all see what he did, what's in his card? Y'all see that? See these people chained up? This represents obsession, secrets, all of that type of stuff. Stalking, harassment, sex addictions, lies, all of that type of stuff. The tower, murder, harm, more water, seven of cups, the law, the hierophant, morals, all that type of stuff. He tried to put a front on, you know, trying to have a balance about himself because in his sick mind, he thought that that would not draw too much attention towards him. But y'all see this, Two of Cups, he did that. One on land, one on water. He didn't really care for her the way that he made it seem. Now, to me, this represents mother and child, her. Okay, so you guys asked, did Scott try to flee Mexico? Did Scott try to flee Mexico? Did he try to leave Mexico? Did he try to leave Mexico? I knew the chariot was going to fall. Look at that water, that woman in the water. Money, money. Red flag sign. Yes, he did. It looks like he tried to leave with some type of money, though. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Mother and child reversed. Hmm. 
the chariot, trying to get the fuck up out of there. The knight of swords, the lies that he told, movement, knights, and y'all see this is movement. Y'all see that this is movement, a horse and a motorcycle, trying to get the fuck up out of there. His mind was racing. He thought he had a plan. That was the idea for him to leave. He really put a plan together too, Seven of Pentacles. He contemplated, he thought about it, exactly how he was gonna do it. I feel like he was gonna try to change his identity too. How did he truly feel? How did Scott truly feel when his wife and his son washed up on the shore? How did he truly feel when his wife and his son washed on the shore? their bodies washed up on the shore how did Scott truly feel on the inside he was still very cocky and confident look at that water six of swords two of pentacles severe mental issues strength two of wands premeditated look at that water look at that water he planned her demise he didn't plan for her to wash up though king of pentacles nine of swords mental energy knight of cups defensive still standing his ground still trying to play that good guy of moral and character i would never do that i would never do that to my wife okay so i want to use I want to use my shadow deck for the rest of this reading. What was the reason behind Scott doing what he did to his wife? Scott Peterson, Scott Peterson, Scott Peterson. What was the reason behind what he did to his wife? See more money? Pentacles, judgment, reverse, the fool. Look at that water, fishes. Deception, clever. He thought he was gonna get away with it first and foremost. He thought, it's like he thought that people would look at him as an upstanding citizen in the community. He tries to fool the fuck out of everybody. Judgment, reverse, pentacles, page of pentacles. Look at that blood on the floor. That's a man and a woman. He thought that he would, that's the two of cups too. He thought that he, justice, he thought that he would get away from, from, from it. He didn't think the truth would prevail. Very cocky energy, the hermit. Mm. Ten of cups reversed. This is, talks about the family. It's reversed though. Harm to the family. Mother and child. Y'all see the ace of wands. Wheel of fortune, three of pentacles. Um, I felt like he felt like he was going to get away with it. It was a power thing. And I feel like money was based around this situation. Besides of just being a, a fucking sick individual. So y'all ask, is he psychotic? Y'all know this man is psychotic, but I'll put it just for y'all. Is Scott Peterson psychotic? Is Scott Peterson psychotic? Look at this, five of cups, blood and water, more blood and water. The chariot, someone who is out of control. Uh, two, of, two, two of swords. Swords is all about the mind, the conflict in the mind, a decision. You know, always conflicted in the mind. The charity, the chariot represents something out of control. That's his mind. Money, the emperor. This is him, the emperor. The empress. This is his wife. I tell, I always tell y'all, the empress and the emperor are, the empress and the emperor is the wife, is the father and the mother of the tarot. The empress is reversed. She was harmed and he did it. Justice. Hmm. Justice, more justice. This is her holding the baby. See all how this is coming out. Yes, he is a psychopath. And he thought that he was he was so much of a psychopath that he didn't think that the law was going to come for his ass. But they did. And they're going to continue to come for him. How was he doing in jail? How is Scott Peterson doing in jail? How is Scott Peterson doing in jail?
how is Scott Peterson doing in jail? He's worried, y'all. He knows that it's over with for him. Look at this lover's reverse, the moon. He know what he did to his wife. And he knows it's just only time, only time and time. Look at this person being put in the grave. He knows what he did. His feelings are all over the place. But it's like he's still trying to lie to himself. Ten of Pentacles reverse, all about the family, right? Queen of Wands still have that error about his error about himself. Like I'm going to get away with it. I'm going to maintain my quote unquote innocence. Did his parents truly believe in his innocence? Did his parents truly believe in his innocence? Peterson's parents truly believe that their son is innocent. They're just trying to ride it out. The world, Ace of Swords, the Devil, Temperance, King of Swords. No, but they just see that tear, that betrayal. But they just trying to be supportive. They're trying to be supportive. They know that their son had problems. Ace of Swords. Not telling the truth. This speaks. This speaks about someone not telling the truth. And then sometimes this this speaks about a conflicted mind too. Ace of Swords, especially with the world. They're trying to put up on the up front with the world. And Temperance represents that innocence that they're trying to put up. But deep down inside, the Three of Swords is what they're feeling. The King of Swords reverse is what they're feeling. The Devil, burning, emotional. Ace of Pentacles, the mother, the the wife. His wife, Lacey. No, they just trying, they're begging for his mercy though. They're hoping and praying that, you know, things happen for his best interest, the higher thing. His wife, messages, two of swords. I mean, I'm sorry, two of wands. So they hoping he are, he is, he's innocent. But deep down inside, they, they know it. They know it. They know what he did to his wife, the Empress. They know that he's not telling the truth and they feel very betrayed and heartbroken. But to the world, they're not gonna show that. They're not gonna show that. They hoping for his innocence. They're praying, they're praying formation that he's in. That's that hope. Ooh, so how do y'all feel, y'all? I want to keep on putting into this energy, but how do y'all feel? This case has been going on for years. It's been going on for so long. Um, I hear that he has a court date coming up soon. So he, I'm suspecting that he will be back into the media. And um, just let me know. Try him down. Drop, drop into the comments and let me know who we, what, what, what true crime uh, case are we going into next? Because y'all know this is the type of stuff that I like to do. So definitely let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Have y'all heard anything new? Do y'all ever, did y'all ever, did anybody have an unpopular opinion about this situation? I mean, don't be afraid. You know, jump down in the comments. We're going to all respect each other around here because you have no choice but to do that on this channel once again y'all come over to my website you know join the gang get the updates get the you know this is the type of stuff like i said that we can continue to discuss raw and unfiltered in the group chat get to my website magicalflowerstarot.com sign up and make sure as soon as you do that i'm going to add you onto the group so i love y'all gang until next time ashe